um, why kitchen mycology? Because this is meant for the average Joe, like me, to successfully grow mushrooms in the simplest way possible without having to buy a lot of expensive equipment, without too much complication, keeping it simple. Um, in your own kitchen, you don't need a special lab or, or a grow room, you know, dedicated grow room or dedicated lab space. You can do this pretty much anywhere. And I believe I've found on all of the, the steps of the growing process, I believe I found the perfect balance between simplicity and effectiveness and also uh, time. It's all in video, close-ups, very detailed. I make an effort to show you specifically each step, close-up and personal, and I also explain each step. You may sometimes think I'm talking too much, but I want to make sure that you get each and every little detail. Um, better than just glossing over and then getting questions after, but what about this and what about that? What if I do this? So I try to think of all those questions I've already had and put them in the videos. I separate them in, in order of each step, right? From making a sport brand to uh, colonizing agar, to transferring mycelium from agar to agar, to, um, and you can grow medicinal mushrooms, you can grow uh, edible mushrooms. Um, I've grown oyster mushrooms, which are delicious and, and fun. Um, lion's mane, which is very healthy. I've, I've grown piopinos, a uh, black poplar piopino, and which are very easy to grow. 